my dear students let us discuss stacks stack works on the principle of last in first out or first in last out that is the element that goes into the stack first will be the last element to come out of the stack that is first in last out similarly the element that goes into the stack last will be the first element to come out of the stack that is last in first out there are three operations with respect to stack as follows i think you should be familiar with these three operations simple operations first one is push operation push operation will insert an element into the stack second one is pop operation pop operation will delete an element from the stack third one is display operation display operation will display all the elements of the stack very simple there are basically two types of implementations of stack array implementation linked list implementation let us consider array implementation of stack see how to implement stacks using arrays now let us consider the following array int a5 okay it is an integer array which can contain five elements and the array is just like this yes the maximum size of the array is 5 that is max size is equal to 5 yes max size is equal to 5 let us implement stack using this array a very good now there are no elements in the stack therefore the stack is empty no elements are pushed into the stack no elements are there in the stack therefore the stack is empty now this is important the variable top will always contain the position of the topmost element in the stack i'll repeat the variable top will contain the position of the topmost element in the stack very good now there is no topmost there are no elements only in the stack therefore there is no question of topmost element in the stack therefore top is equal to minus 1 now top is equal to minus 1 because the stack is empty and it is also called as stack underflow stack is empty is also called as stack underflow so when stack is empty what is the value of top top is equal to minus 1 yes top is equal to minus 1 now let us see push operation see very important read this statement in push operation we have to first increment top and then push the element at a of top first top has to be incremented then the element has to be pushed at a of top okay let us push 10 into the stack for pushing 10 into the stack first increment top by 1 so what is top minus 1 plus 1 is equal to 0 top becomes 0 yes top becomes 0 now push 10 into the stack at a of 0 yes at a of 0 10 is pushed so 10 is pushed onto the stack so what did we do first we incremented top then we inserted the element at a of top let us in, in let us push 20 now top is incremented by 1 0 plus 1 is 1 therefore top becomes 1 now let us push 20 into the stack at a of 1 yes 20 is pushed let us push 30 and also whenever you are pushing always you have to push at the topmost position you cannot push at any position in the stack always push operation should happen at the topmost position in the stack yes now we shall push 30 into the stack so top becomes 2 yes at a of 2 we insert 30 very good 30 is pushed onto the stack next we insert we we push 40 into the stack first we have to increment the top so top becomes 3 now at a of 3 40 is pushed yes suppose we want to push 50 first increment the value of top top becomes 4 at a of 4 push 50 yes 50 is pushed now you can just see the stack is full as there are no vacant locations in the stack the stack is full now push operation cannot be done on the stack because stack is full how can you push no now carefully understand what is the value of top 4 what is the value of max size 5 so when top is equal to max size minus 1 yes top is equal to max size minus 1 the stack is full this is called as stack overflow also whenever stack is full it is also called as stack overflow see these two conditions are important when top is equal to minus 1 it means the stack is empty when top is equal to max size minus 1 it means the stack is full very simple 
and also what is the uh, what are the two things that you have to do during push operation first increment the value of top then push the element at a of top that's all simple push operation very simple now let us consider pop operation with respect to stack yes this is our array containing five elements max size is equal to five and top is equal to four meaning stack is full now top is equal to max size minus one and hence stack is full yes stack is full let us see pop operation now carefully see this pop operation in pop operation we have to pop the element at a of top and then decrement top first we have to pop the element afterwards we have to decrement the value of top whereas in push operation what did we do we increment at top then we pushed at a of top pop operation first we have to pop the element at a of top and then decrement the value of top yes now pop the topmost element into item item is equal to 50 here and decrement top yes let us take item 50 will come to item yes then top will become 3 yes top became 3 you can just observe top became 3 so 50 is popped next let us see how 40 is popped so pop the topmost element into item and decrement top yes 40 will come to item top is decremented top becomes 2 let us pop 30. So topmost element is popped into item. Item will get 30. Yes. Yes, item is popped and top will become 1. Let us pop 20. Pop the topmost element 20 into item. So item will become 20. Yes, 20 is popped and top will become 0. Yes. Now let us pop 10. Yes, pop the topmost element 10 into item. Item will become 10 top will become minus 1 yes. and when top is equal to minus 1 the stack is empty you can just see now top is equal to minus 1 and hence the stack is empty and it is also called a stack underflow no further pop can be done that's all the pop operation very simple so whenever you have to pop first pop the element at a of top and then decrement the value of top that is the most important part here in, top, in pop operation Next, let us consider display operation. We display all the elements from the topmost element to the bottommost element in the stack. So all the elements from the topmost topmost position to the bottommost position should be displayed in the stack. Suppose five elements are there in the stack: 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. 50 is the topmost element, 10 is the bottommost element. Top is equal to 4 and max is equal to 5. 50 should be displayed first, then 40 then 30, then 20, then at last 10. So from 50 to 10, all the elements are displayed because 50 is the topmost element and 10 is the bottommost element. I think the push, pop and display operations are quite simple with respect to this tag. Now let us discuss the functions for push, pop and display operations. Let us consider the following global array. So we are making this array global so that it can be used in push function also, pop function also and display function also. So the name of the array is stack. Okay. In stack of 5, this is our array stack. The max size of the array is 5. Max size is equal to 5. Yes. Let us implement stack using this array stack. Yes. There are no elements in the stack. The stack is empty. And already you know when the stack is empty, what is the value of top? minus 1. The variable top will always contain the position of the topmost element in the stack. Now there are no elements, therefore there is no topmost element, therefore top is equal to minus 1. So now top is equal to minus 1 because the stack is empty, it is also called a stack under flow. Yes, top is equal to minus 1. Push operation, you know this important statement. In push operation, we increment top and then push the element at stack of top. Yes, first increment, then pushing. Yes, let us write the function. So push name of the function is push. Int item. Yes, item has to be pushed. If top is equal to max size minus 1, the stack is full. There is stack overflow. We cannot push any more elements. Otherwise, what are the two things that we have to do? First increment the value of top, then push the item at stack of top. That's all. Very simple push operation. First check whether it is full. If it is full, display message. Otherwise, top is equal to top plus 1 and stack of top is equal to item. Let us see the operations again. Let us push 10. 
So top will become 0, 10 is pushed. Let us push 20, top will become 1, 20 is pushed. Let us push 30, top becomes 2, 30 is pushed. Let us push 40, top becomes 3, 40 is pushed. Let us push 50, top becomes 4 and 50 is pushed. Now the stack is full because top is equal to max size minus 1 therefore the stack is full. We cannot do any more push operations into the stack. That's all the push operation and the push function also. Now let us see the pop function. Let us consider a stack as shown with 5 elements. Yes, this is our stack. So the 5 elements are 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Max size is equal to 5 and top is equal to 4 meaning all the 5 elements are there therefore the stack is full top is equal to 4. Now top is equal to max size minus 1 and hence the stack is full. Yes, the stack is full. Let us see the pop operation. This very important statement. In pop operation, we have to pop the element at stack of top and then decrement the value of top. Yes. Let us write the function. First check top is equal to minus 1. If top is equal to minus 1, print a message stack is empty, stack overflow. Otherwise, first you take the element, that is item is equal to stack of top, then decrement the value of top and also display the deleted element also. That's all the pop function. So in the pop function, what actually we have to do? Check whether stack is empty. If it is empty, display a message. Otherwise, take the element into item, then decrement the value of top. That's all. Now let us see how pop operation happens here. Let us pop 50. So item will get 50. Yes, and top becomes 3. Next, let us pop 40. Item will get 40. Yes, top becomes 2. Let us pop 30. Item will get 30. Yes, top becomes 1. Let us pop uh, 20. Item will get 20. And top will become 0. Let us pop 10. Item will become 10. And top will become minus 1. And top is equal to minus 1. The stack is empty. That's all the push operation and the push function. Very simple. Now, let us go to display function with respect to stack. Let us consider a stack as shown with 5 elements. Yes, this is our stack with 5 elements. Yes, max size is equal to 5. Top is equal to 4. All the 5 elements are there. Therefore, top is equal to 4. Now, top is equal to max size minus 1 and hence the stack is full. Yes. Display operation. In display operation, we display all the elements in stack from top to 0. Top to bottom. Here, bottom is 0. Therefore, top to 0. Display. If top is equal to minus 1, meaning the stack is empty, stack under flow, nothing can be done. Otherwise, the elements of the stack are from top to 0. It is a uh, negative loop, that is a decrementing loop of top to 0. For i is equal to top, i is greater than or equal to 0, i minus minus. It is a decrementing loop. Print of stack of i. Yes, that is all the display function. So, let us display the elements. So element of the stack are i is equal to top, therefore i is equal to 4. Yes, e of 4, 50 is displayed. Then i becomes 3. Yes, 3 is it greater than or equal to 0? Yes, therefore e of 3 is displayed, 40 is displayed. Then again i becomes 2, 2 is it greater than or equal to 0? Yes, therefore e is stack of 2 is displayed, there is 30 is displayed. Then again i is decremented 1, 1 is it greater than or equal to 0, yes, therefore stack of 1 is 20, 20 is displayed, again i is decremented, i becomes 0, 0 is it greater than or equal to 0, yes, 0 is greater than or equal to 0, therefore stack of 0, 10 is displayed, then again i is decremented, i becomes minus 1, so when i is minus 1, it comes out of the for loop, so all the 5 elements are displayed, that's all the display operation and display function, quite simple, see, the push operation, pop operation and display operations are quite simple, quite straightforward. Now we shall discuss the array implementation of stack program. So size is defined as 5. We declare an array, the name of the array is stack, top is equal to minus 1 and push function already we discussed, we are pushing item. If top is equal to my size minus 1, stack is full. Otherwise, increment the value of top and stack of top is equal to item. Simple. 
void pop if top is equal to minus 1 stack is empty otherwise item is equal to stack of top take the element into item decrement top display that's all the pop function next display function yes top is equal to minus 1 stack is empty otherwise put a decrementing loop yes top to 0 all the elements you display that's all the display function now the main program very simple infinite while loop one push to pop three display four exit enter your choice depending on the choice you switch if it is one yes call push function if it is two call pop function if it is three call display function anything else default anything other than one two three exit that's all the main main program for array implementation of stack i think this is quite simple push function pop function display function uh, very simple and very straightforward stack uh, implementation using arrays